Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from kbandstraining.com, and today we're gonna to be focusing on our lateral quickness and reaction time. Let's get started with the reaction shuffle setup. We're gonna be using three cones spaced out evenly across the floor. We're gonna be using three cones spaced out evenly from one another. Next, we're gonna be maximizing our results with the reactive stretch cord, giving us both assistance and resistance through each individual shuffle. As we get things set up, let's focus on anchors for just a second. Remember, the reactive stretch cord stretches 20 feet, so we wanna make sure that that farthest cone is no more than 20 feet unless we have very active anchors. We also have to be very vocal for our athletes. We're gonna be using a one, two, three count. Number off the cones and be very strong with your voice and command so that we can move and react with a voice cadence. Anchors, be sure that we're utilizing that safety strap. There's no reason that we need to be holding that carabiner and leaving our athletes at risk. Go ahead and simply put it around your wrist and make sure that we're good to go. Now onto the good stuff, time to maximize some results. Athletes, it's important that we really sit in our seats and get in a low position so that we can be explosive from left to right. Remember, during our slides, we're gonna be getting both assisted and resisted reps. Remember, throughout the entire active set, you're gonna be getting resistance as well as assistance, throwing off your center of balance and really maximizing the amount of control that you have moving explosively. Maintaining a center of balance and having a great strong center is one of the most important things that you can have in any athletic sport. This is a great way for us to build a solid center of gravity in a sport specific fashion. The next key is that we really have to be active and listening for that one, two, three cadence. Being explosive with reaction is gonna be great for us in any sport. As always with shuffles, as always with shuffles, it's very important that we maintain a nice, sturdy, athletic stance. If you're, let, if you're letting your heels click or you're bringing your legs all the way together, this is only gonna slow us down and potentially leave us at risk to get passed by an offensive player. The set breakdown is gonna be very simple. Two to three sets on the left, two to three sets on the right, with the anchor providing the proper amount of resistance for the farthest and closest cones. If you're ready to maximize your results with the reactive stretch cord, head to kbandstraining.com. We've also got all kinds of other basketball-related drills that can really help improve your skills.